Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another fresh new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this amazing infographic text animation. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure to subscribe. This really inspires us a lot. So without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. At first, to change the background color, go to design, click on format background. And from here, pick this light gray color. Now close it. Go to home, pick a rectangle, cover this whole slide, then go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to white. From shape outline, select no outline. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text, I'm typing cells, selecting all the text, change the font to TWC and empty, make it bold center increase the size of this font place it here in the middle after that holding the control button we have to select this two i'm in the rectangle and the text box then go to format click on merge shape and select combine now what we need to do pick a line shape holding the shift key from your keyboard drag it over here Go to format, click on shape outline, change the color, again from shape outline, increase the weight to 3 point, click on the small icon, from here pick the dash type round and cap type round, then close it, bring it to here, again we have to pick a text box, drag it over here. I'll add some percentage in this text box, change the font to TWC and empty, make it bold, increase the font size, make it center, change the font color so that it matches with the line shape, bring it to here, holding the control button, we have to select this two and press control G to group. After that zoom out a bit, pick a rectangle, drag it over here under the line shape. Then go to format, click on shape fill, change its color. From shape outline, select no outline. Then right click on it and send it to back. Now we can go for the animation part. So at first select this group of element. Go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. And then from add animation, select fade. Keep this on click and duration 0.25 seconds again. Select this one, from add animation, select lines, from effect option, select up, set start after previous, duration 1.5 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press ok. Now select this rectangle, from add animation, select lines, from effect option, select up, Set a start with previous, duration 1.5 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, from effect option, increase the smooth and press ok. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our animation is working. But if you want to add the reverse option on this animation, we have to do something more. Select this animation, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option and from here select this auto reverse and press ok. We have to do the same for this one, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, select auto reverse and press ok. After that select this group of element to add another animation, go to add animation, select disappear. Set a start after previous and then from our previous slide I will just copy this upper portion by pressing ctrl C and paste it here by pressing ctrl V. And here we are done, now if you start the slideshow you can see that our animation is working perfectly. In the same way you can create lots more unique ideas, we have shared a few, you can download all these templates for free, I've given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed our work, make sure you give a like for this video, if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe, share our works with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. So that's all for today, hope to see in the next tutorial 
and thanks for watching